this travel requirement comes into effect today and is compulsory for passengers above the age of five. National flag carrier in New Guinea, in a statement released last Saturday, says PCR testing is conducted at the Pacific International Hospital and St. John's at a fee for quick results. Critical information that must be included in the PCR negative test result include the name of the passenger, date when the test was taken, the method used, and the test results. The airline prefers a paper-based record. However, electronic records showing the PCR test results will also be accepted. In the case that if a member of the traveling party tests positive to COVID-19, all members of the party will not be allowed to travel to Australia. The airline announces that it will not be accepting results from other types of tests, such as the gene expert tests. And New Guinea has advised all passengers traveling to Australia to ensure that the PCR test is conducted within 72 hours before the time of travel and the results made available during the time of check-in. Meanwhile, Papua New Guinea has recorded over 800 cases of COVID-19 since March 2020. Thekla Gunga, National MTV News.